Okay, hello. We are here in the Hobbit house that we built about a year ago. And now the temperature right here is about, uh, what does it say, 3, 4 degrees. And the idea is to bring it up to about 16, 18 degrees. And to be able to do that, we need to uh, start the rocket oven. And this is this construction. And we put the fire from outside. And there's a pipe that comes inside this one, this uh, barrel. And then the smoke comes up, goes down goes through a tube, coming all the way there, turns, comes here, and comes up through the pipe. And uh, we're going to now go outside and start the fire. So here's where we feed uh, the oven. And we have this bricks, and the idea is that there's always a little hole here so that the air can come past and feed, uh, and feed the, the fire. So we have a whole one and two half ones, and we start emptying the ashes. So from last time, because we don't empty right away when the fire gets turned off because it's too hot. So it's just removing all the ashes from the time before. And sometimes can be quite a lot. And sometimes there's not very much. It's been a while since we turned the oven. Okay, that's it. And what we do is we get some dry newspaper. The important thing is that the wood and the newspaper is dry. If we leave it inside the Hobbit house or in the out here, it gets too humid. So, we put some newspaper. And I don't know if you can see some of it from there. It's better that you come this way. And we have just some few candles here, leftovers. We like using, reusing stuff. And we have a lighter. And let's put another newspaper. Now we put this inside here and make a little present, put it here, not very far in, and tiny pieces of wood like this, they are very dry and very skinny, so this is good for starting the fire. Put a few here, ta -da, ta -da. move it further in, and then we turn it on. See if this lighter works. Usually very windy. So I try to, uh, we need to put a brick here just to prevent the air. And let's see. We had uh, one here, one here, and one here. And if you come closer, then you can hear already. And then soon it's going to be... So that, that's to start with, maybe giving it a little extra air. And that's going to burn quite fast. You can come a little closer and just to hear like the power of the wind. So it turns quite fast and in a very, very short while. Then we can come back again and feed it again and, um, and slowly, slowly. And then we can put bigger pieces of wood so that it stays for longer. 
these special pipes that can take the, the fire and it comes till here. That pipe goes inside till here and has another pipe inside that can take the high temperature. And the pipe comes, I think, till here. And you can already feel it, if you come and touch it, it's already warm. This, and we just turn it on. At some point we won't be able to touch it. Yeah, but at some point we won't be able to touch it anymore because mm -hmm. it's so hot. So, and then, then at some point all this gets warm. This was all wet because we finished building this for about a month ago. So the, the clay is still very, very wet because there's a huge amount of uh, water in here. So the chimney, we still need to finish it. But when this is on, then water drips here because then and also it uh, evaporates some of the water from there so that still needs to be done and this can be used also like we remove all these candles this we use during the night so we mm -hmm. have some light yeah. but if not we have a mattress over there that we can put here so this is also possible to, to sit on top that. and to have pillows there yeah. so it's just a we can change the, the scenography de depending on what, what it gets used for. Yeah. So I think now we can put a little more wood. We have bigger pieces here that these we put here to dry. So we can start putting just a little bigger. Fire. You want to see? Now it's catching up a little. It's a little bigger than before. And then we put bigger pieces. And we let it burn for a little while before we put even bigger pieces. Nice. So, so simple. Just keep feeding it and then <coughs> during the day, so tonight when we're going to be here, then the temperature is going to be great. So even we can be there, we try minus 5 degrees out here and plus 18 inside. So that was really cool. So thank you for so long.